Hey, what's up, everyone? A few people requested that I show exactly how I use TouchOS to control my dig attack. So, first thing you're going to do is go to hexler.net, go to the TouchOS page, and you want to download one of these editors right here. Now, to use TouchOS, obviously, you have to buy the app for iPad. It's like five or six dollars, so totally worth it. Comes with a bunch of templates, but you can obviously customize them any way you want. So, I've got TouchOS downloaded. This is your blank project. This one is formatted for the iPhone. We're going to do one for iPad. And we'll make this horizontal. And basically, now you just right click to add different controller types. What I'm using in this video is the XY pad. And you basically dial in the size you want, go to the MIDI tab when you have it selected. And now value X, Y, the actual touching of the pad can send controller CCs or various other messages, which we may go over at a different time. So here's the template I set up earlier for XY pads that control basically 11 different parameters. The top left square here, the XY controls the filter cutoff and the filter envelope depth. Also, when I touch this, it will automatically set all of the sample tracks to the low pass filter mode. So if I do have something with the filter off or it's in a high pass filter, uh, it won't sound out of place like it would uh, with different filters on all the tracks. The top right is going to control the envelope decay and the resonance. Uh, the top, uh, sorry, the bottom left is going to control the uh, loop rate as well as the sample length. And then uh, touching it activates the looping mode for the sample tracks. The final bottom right here, this one's going to control the tuning of the samples as well as the amp decay. Now once you've got your template set up the way you want um, with all the channels and the tracks and the CC controllers, uh, which again is completely customizable so you can do this any way you want. Uh, once your computer and your iPad are both on the same Wi-Fi network, you're going to click sync. And then when this comes up, you'll open up TouchOS on your iPad or iPhone and then use the uh, Wi-Fi connection to send the project over, which is very convenient. So now I've got TouchOS open, and to load that layout from my computer, I'm going to go to Layout, Add, and now you see my computer is listed there. So I'll just tap that to load it, but I've actually already got it up, so I don't need to do that. Let's click Done, and now we're in the TouchOS interface. You can see I have this connected from the Apple Connection Kit, this USB cable that you can barely see because it's black is going into the back of my dig attack and uh, sending MIDI messages to it. Now for this to work the way I want it to, in other words, to affect control all changes onto the sample tracks, one crucial thing you have to do is set up the MIDI settings. So for one, I'm going to disable for this demonstration clock sending and receiving just so there's no looping going on. You want to make sure, of course, that your input is set to MIDI and USB. And then for channels, tracks 1 through 8 must all be set to channel 1. And also, I found it a little tricky while the auto channel was enabled, so I'm just going to go ahead and disable that. So everything's set to channel 1, and everything on the touch off sends on channel 1. So now when I send CC data, from TouchOS, it will affect all eight sample tracks at once. So here you can see the XY pad is controlling the filter and the filter decay, or the resonance and the envelope depth. Or if we go to the source page, activate loop, change the bit crushing, as well as the length of the loop. And then also on the other pad, it reactivates the play mode and now it messes with the tune as well as the amp decay. So what does it all sound like?
lot of fun. I hope you can replicate this on your own. I'm going to make this template available for download. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments.